we're going to make today is the Singapore Sling, and it's a cocktail that is created in 1915 uh, by a Hainanese bartender. His name is Mr. Niang Tong Hun. Okay, he's from Hainan, from China. He's very talented, and he created the drink in Raffles Hotel. Okay. So, same thing, three tables food. Three tables food, which in Jigga form, 45 ml. So if you have a spoon near you, just take a spoon, sew it a little bit to taste it first. Taste it. Not too sweet. Then go this way. Up, down. Yeah, I'm gonna do. My table a bit high, so I'll do this. So I'll do this. After you add. Okay? Up and down, yeah. Top and bottom. Check. Okay? So Amazing. that's how you see a cocktail. Uh, normally, I'll fill up around uh, three quarter of the uh, water bottle. Depends on how big a water bottle is. So it should cover your liquid completely with one more layer of ice over. You'll be very cold, you'll feel your hands chilling. Let's go a little bit more. I think we are done. Crack open. It's a really big drink, so. Quick quick question. Yes. Yeah, so uh, why, why do we use strainer? I mean, is it for the flow of the cocktail out or maybe if you have some other ingredients, those ingredients stay back and only the liquid comes out. What is the purpose of strainer? So there are different purposes for using uh, the strainer. Number one, you do not want to use used ice into your drink. First, uh, it will have been a really cracked. And when cracked ice are involved, right, it will dilute faster. So we strain uh, it out okay. on its own. So you have less cracked ice in there to uh, dilute faster. So you do strain it out. Or sometimes you use cocktails with ingredients like raspberry, passion mm. fruit, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? Or mm. mint. You do not want all of that to go into your drink. You want to strain it out so that it's more palatable to drink in terms of texture and also flavor itself. So everyone got their drink ready? Yep. Thank you. So we're doing something very healthy right now. Then next, we have the colada mix that we have here. So pina colada is a very simple drink. It's basically rum, sugar, and coconut milk. That simple. But what we did more to this is we use a pineapple juice, sorry. So here is pineapple juice. Uh, same thing, we added uh, syrup. So, but we use a different syrup. We use gula malaka. So gula malaka is also used in chendol, right? So we just use a little bit of gula malaka to bring the sweetness in, but not too much of it because we do not want the drink to be too sweet as well. Okay, two bottle in, 15 mils. It's going to be a big drink. I always encourage to drink big, go big or go home. Stirring is very simple. Stirring, there's a lot of people that uh, focus a lot on techniques on stirring. But I'll be very honest with you, I don't really care. I think if it's stir right, to the right temperature, to the right, uh, uh, you know, of course you don't stir like this, like a kopi uh, uh, kopi, you don't stir this way. No freaking way you're gonna do this. You're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna show you guys how to hold it. So, try to pick it up. Okay, chopstick. Finger on your middle and your index finger. Put it between, put the chopstick between. Okay, then your thumb and your second finger to hold the top. It's almost like holding chopstick, but just one chopstick. Like me, you can get a spoon or fork and do this. Yay, okay, ready? Hold your drink or hold a bottle up to you. 
and cheers to the camera.